Welcome to the annual birthday vlog. I feel like this is the first year that I've gotten up to my birthday weekend and I'm like not even that excited about it. Like I'm such a huge birthday gal. Like I love birthdays, whether it's mine or someone else's. I just think it's so much fun to celebrate. And I don't know if it's just because being in this pandemic hasn't really made me feel that excited, especially considering I've spent like my early 20s basically in a pandemic. Sometimes I just feel like being in your 20s is so weird because it's just that like awkward period of time where you're trying to figure things out find yourself i think i'm just having a quarter life crisis to be honest but you know what it's fine but yeah anyways it is the day before my birthday it is the 13th of august i went and got my nails done um the other day so i wanted to show you guys i basically got these pink sparkly nails i don't know if you can really see it but they remind me of barbie like they're giving me Barbie vibes. Thought I would start the vlog today because I'm hoping to go thrifting, specifically thrifting for books because I have just been loving finding books at op shops. It's just so fun. So I want to go thrifting because I'm actually dropping Bella off at the groomers today. So that is my excuse while she's getting groomed. I want to go op shopping and I also want to go get some breakfast from Subway as well. Oh, and I also need to wash my hair. <laughs> you guys don't need to know that, but I I put oil in last night in my hair and I need to wash it out today so it'll be all good for tomorrow. I mean granted I'm not really doing anything tomorrow. I'm just going out for brunch with Shelby and then I'm going out for dinner as well. But yeah I hope you guys enjoy this birthday vlog. Like I said it's gonna be super chill so yeah I'm gonna go drop Bella off the groomers, get some Subway and I'll come home and show you guys the books. Hopefully I find some good books at the op shop. home and you guys it should be so proud of me because I only bought one book while I was thrifting I also went to Subway you guys would have seen I got a meatball sub chef's kiss fantastic loved it i also had to go to pet barn as well because i needed to get bella's worming treatment so straight after i picked up bella from the groomers we went straight to pet barn took her with us there was actually a really cute cat up for adoption and oh my goodness my heart i literally just like wanted to take him home with me anyways i thought i would do a little haul of what i picked up while i was op shopping and also when i went to pet barn so i'll start with the op shop finds so the book that i picked up was her Pretty Face by Robin Harding. This is a domestic thriller. This is a very, very random purchase. But if you guys know me, you know how much I love Winnie the Pooh. That was my whole entire childhood. So while I was up shopping, I actually found this little bowl for $1. So obviously I had to get it. This is what it looks like. It's got Winnie the Pooh on it. Yes, I am almost 24 and I'll be 24 by the time this video is uploaded, but I will never stop loving Winnie the Pooh. And then from Pet Barn, I got Bella's worming treatment from the Sentinel brand. And I also got some greenies as well in the blueberry flavor. It actually smells so good. So that is everything I picked up this morning. Right now, I actually want to get some reading done. I'm currently reading Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Yes, I purposely chose this book to read this weekend because it's my birthday weekend and the title is Birthday Girl. But the actual book itself so far, I'm up to page 119 and it is so interesting. This is my first book from this author and so far it's going really well. So yeah, I'm just going to get some reading in because it is currently raining and rainy weather is like the perfect reading weather so that's what I'm gonna be up to for like the next hour or so and then I really need to wash my hair because I want to straighten it tonight <laughs> It is a 
officially my 24th birthday. I have just gotten ready for brunch with Shelby. We are going to Billy's Junction, which is one of our favorite brunch spots. We discovered this place like pre-COVID and haven't been there since like before COVID. So super excited to just be having brunch there, hanging out, catching up. So that's gonna be super fun. But I'll show you guys my outfit for brunch. So this is my OOTD for today. I am wearing this jumper. It's just got these green flowers all over it. It's actually from the Udi. They recently came out with their loungewear collection and it is so freaking cute. So I decided to wear the jumper because it's super warm and it's like really cold outside right now. Um, I actually do have a discount code as as well for this. I think it's Mariam25 which will get you $25 off the Udi loungewear collection and Mariam30 can still be used on like the normal actual like Udi's themselves. Not sponsored but I thought I would just let you know in case you do want to pick up any of their loungewear collection because this one is my favorite jumper at the moment and then I'm just wearing these blue straight jeans. I'm not sure if you can even see them and I'm probably just going to wear some white sneakers but that is my outfit for brunch. You in the backyard and you're all fine in the summer Stay there for three weeks where we learn to love each other Wrote you a letter sent a message to the that day with Shelby. Hello. We just went for brunch at Billy's Junction and I am so full. I got the um, veggie brekkie and Shelby got a green omelette which was actually green. I, I didn't expect it to be actually green but it was. Same. I looked so good. Um, but yeah, we had a really good brunch and now we're actually in the car obviously as you can tell. We are heading to Big W just to look around. Window shop or maybe buy some books depending on what books they have. And um, may get a bubble tea, mm -hmm. probably. Stay there for three weeks where we learn to love each other. Wrote you a letter, sent a message to the captain. Skip to the present, haven't been so happy ever. So we just got home, we got bubble tea, of mm -hmm. course, and Shelby gifted me a book. I have no idea what this book is, so I'm so excited to unbox it. Oh, unopen, unopen it, um, unwrap it. So let's mm -hmm. see, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. it's Amazon, man. Amazon. Oh, it just says, happy birthday, Miriam. Hope you enjoy your day from Shelby. <laughs> so cute. I literally have no idea what it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love and other disasters. <laughs> I love. So this is a book I got. Mm -hmm. It's called Love and Other Disasters. This I'm pretty sure this is like a like gives me Master Chef vibes. That's why I added it onto my wish list. And mm -hmm. this cover is so cute. Mm -hmm. So that's the book I got. I am so excited to read this one. Still remember. the library and I picked up five books so I thought I would do a quick book haul. Yes I did get changed. I'm wearing this dress from Target because I am going out for dinner tonight so I wanted to look a little bit more put together dressed up. Onto the book haul I picked up Twice Shy by Sarah Hogle, Hot British Boyfriend by Christy Boyce. This cover is so cute. Faux Love Story by Lone Lou. I think that's how you say your name. This just sounds so cool because it's enemies to lovers kind of Romeo and Juliet vibes and it's surrounding Vietnamese food which 
absolutely love. Also got Sadie on a Plate by Amanda Elliott. Very excited to read this one too. And last but not least, I picked up a fantasy and that is Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. This actually follows Cinderella's stepsister and it's her story, which I think is going to be so much fun to read. It is a bit of a chunky monkey though. It's like 500 pages, but I am excited to read this one because I love anything that's kind of like a Disney reimagining, retelling kind of thing. So that is very much this vibe. So excited to read that. That is my book haul. But anyways, I'm about to head to dinner. We're going to a restaurant called Atas Dining. They are a Malaysian restaurant and they have the best rotis ever. I don't know if I'm going to get that or if I'm going to try something new, but super excited for dinner. But honestly, I'm so excited to finish up dinner and come home and just relax because all I want to do is just like pop on a movie and just chill on the couch. That's my inner homebody speaking. But yeah, I'm going to go to dinner, but I will see you guys later. Dinner was absolutely delicious. Chef's kiss. I'm in a literal food coma right now, but I got nasi goreng and I also got some cheese wontons, which were amazing. But I've just got home. I had a shower. I've got my electric blanket on and I'm going to get some editing done tonight. My social battery is like at 0% now and my camera battery is also flashing right now. So it is time to end this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel down below i will actually have my birthday book unboxing coming up soon so keep an eye out on that that will hopefully be up in september actually because i don't think it'll be up in time for august and also follow me on my social medias i'll have them linked down below and i will see you all in my next video bye Mom,